Imagine being pregnant with your second baby after an unwanted C-section with your first and living in a remote area where you have no access to pelvic health physiotherapy to help you prepare for your dream VBAC. Now you know from following my channel that I'm all about helping pregnant mamas from all over the world prepare for an empowering birth and postpartum recovery. This is why I'm so excited to share the story about my client Amber today, who had an amazing successful VBAC and postpartum recovery after going through my program. You are a, a second time mom uh, and you live in a small town where you have no access to pelvic floor physio. Um, so my first question for you is why did you sign up for the program in the first place? Um, I had, so during my first pregnancy and after my first pregnancy, I had, um, I had gone to the nearest city and accessed uh, pelvic physio, physios there and their support there. And there was just so much to learn, but I felt like I'd just barely kind of gotten started and to try and continue with that would have been really difficult because of the distance and time um, driving to the city and stuff. And the other reason is that I am very, very much a uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I wanted to, I knew from going into my first pregnancy that um, I wasn't, I, like I'm, I'm not as healthy as I wish I was. <laughs> I'm not as fit and active as I wish I was. And, um, and so I, I, I was trying to do as much as possible to help my body not to have to pay too big of a price <laughs> um, and also my babies so I was looking into nutrition and a whole bunch of different things so this really fit well in terms of my approach to things and more of I a wanted to work thing. yeah and and also working working in advance to prevent problems as opposed to just like oh here's what you do once you're injured once you're hurt once you're dealing with certain things that yeah, um, staying ahead of the curve, so to speak, yeah. Wow. Amber and her husband did such a great job at integrating the practical tools that I show for labor. And she said it made such a huge difference in their confidence during birth. In preparation for all of, uh, for this birth, my husband had printed out the directions and we had, uh, we took my laptop along and we had like every, all the tabs open and everything. Oh my so God. Just open it up and so during labor, he was like referencing a couple of the videos at one point and we had the course, op your course open and the tabs and everything. Anyway, um, <laughs> one of the things we found really useful was, uh, I forget which video it's in, but the, you actually show how much the hip bones move during labor that first mm -hmm. they have to move this way and then that way. And people had described like, oh, the baby moves through this way, but nobody had ever said, oh, this is how much your hips move. And that for both of us was like, Oh, <laughs> so, so there was so many things like that, that, um, in the videos that, um, leading up to the, leading up to labor, like in the prenatal course, cause we, d we looked at a lot of the prenatal course stuff together. Yeah. But I think having that understanding of just how much movement there is, even if, I mean, neither one of us, I don't think was really understanding just where baby was at, at any one particular point in time, but just understanding that there is that much movement just helps you to be like, okay, let me try something different. This is probably yes. what's, it, it, it's amazing how much it helps for those of us who don't have experience. My doula was amazing. <laughs> She's like, try this position, do this position. This is probably where baby is. Um, so there, there's definitely something to be said for experience, a voice of experience in the room, but just for our own understanding and confidence in saying, okay, not this one, yes, let's try something else. Right. It, it made a huge difference for, for my husband and I. Amber was successful at delivering her baby vaginally with the support of her midwife, her doula, and her husband. And I was so thrilled for her that she was able to achieve her goal. But as you know, <laughs> the journey does not end at birth because there is the whole postpartum recovery coming up after. But Amber said that the support and the guidance that she got through my program made her feel so much more confident in how she should heal her body after birth and what she should or shouldn't do. Yeah, I would say the biggest difference that the postpartum course has made is just in my confidence in knowing this is what I can do, this is what I shouldn't do. Um, and it's okay to rest, it's okay to take it easy. I should be taking it easy. 
okay, now it's time to, I, now I can put on a little bit more, um, put a little bit more effort or, or um, exert myself a bit more. I think that looking back at my C-section, I can definitely say that if I had had this course then, I would have felt so much more confident in knowing, okay, this is, th these are the steps I need to do in order to, uh, in order to recover properly. I was really nervous because I'd had a C-section. I wasn't at all prepared for it. I hadn't looked into C-section or um, C-section recovery or anything. I knew, not, I knew very, very little about C-sections. Um, so it was very much learning on the fly for me uh, at that time because all of my preparation had been for a vaginal delivery. And in high, I think it would have helped me a lot to have something that was just already there. <laughs> and, and I found that very helpful. Now, Amber and I got to chat a little bit about what it is like to be postpartum and how she would have navigated her postpartum journey had she not been in the program. And correct me if I'm wrong, I've never been through postpartum yet, but I expect that it's a lot about you're, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're figuring out a lot of things. There's hormonal changes happening. And like, can you picture yourself researching this information in that state of mind, right? Like no. Googling that <laughs> and... <laughs> no, that's a very easy answer. <laughs> because like I did in my first birth, like I was going through all the, yeah, all the hormonal and learning breastfeeding and um, yeah, just everything all at once, trying to figure out like what to do, how to, how to recover, how, what to, how to eat, how to anything. Like it would just, yeah, it was a lot. The guide, the postpartum guide that you have, I printed it out. Um, I have it like on the shelf and I haven't referenced it near as often as I thought I would. Um, because I like, once again, I have the course and all the tabs and videos open on my laptop all the time. Oh. <laughs> So I just kind of like open it up and scroll over and look up the videos for what I'm supposed to do that week. But I found that that postpartum guide was uh, was very helpful, especially in the first few weeks, I'd say. It was the, that was when it was most beneficial. Having a toddler and a newborn, Amber was struggling a little bit at the beginning to find the time to do her postpartum exercises. And I know this can be a challenge for many moms. But I love how she and her husband found a very fun and creative way to fit her exercise program in their family routine. I was struggling at the beginning to feel like, like to, to figure out when I could do these exercises. I, for me, doing any of the exercises while I'm breastfeeding was just, it was too much because I had to concentrate on breastfeeding and um, especially for the first couple of months, like until we get a rhythm going and stuff. Yeah. Um, so eventually we figured out somehow between my husband and I, we figured out, I was like, okay, right after supper, we'll clean up supper and I'll do my exercises. And then he started doing them with me. So because by then I was a few weeks in, he's actually behind me in the program. Oh I'm my God. <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is kind of fun. <laughs> um, You're rocking so, it. <laughs> yeah, it does. It makes me feel like a rock star. <laughs> and, um, so we, but we, part of it is we have a toddler and how to hang out with her. Both of us would be so tired at the end of the day and no, we're tired of reading her books and we don't want to like, we, it, it's hard to concentrate on anything, but doing these exercises was a great way to hang out with her. And now our, our second, our, our baby is doing her tummy time when we do our exercises and Aww. stuff. And so it's just, it's, it's fun because if the whole family all together, we'll play some music sometimes. And, uh, but it, it's something that is just built into the routine of our evenings. That means that we're, we're all hanging out together. We're hanging out with our kids. It's interactive. It doesn't mean that we're away, from, you know, we're, that we're separating from them. Or something. Yeah. So it works. It's worked out really, really well. And I just keep thinking of it like levels in a video game. So I'm at level eight right now. <laughs> <laughs> about to go into level nine. <laughs> I'm about to level up. With her dedication and efforts in following my postpartum program, Amber had such an amazing postpartum recovery. I've been, just been noticing that I'm like, it, it's, it's once again becoming second nature to use my TA muscles, to use my core muscles, to go up the stairs, to pick up my baby, to, I mean, I was consciously doing that several like weeks ago, um, but I, cause I, cause I knew that habit from, from before, like mm -hmm. when I was pregnant. It just, I've been noticing that it's becoming more second nature. I've been noticing that I'm so much stronger and more stable feeling. 
and just noticing that it's so much I don't feel as tired because my core is stronger and yeah I'm three months postpartum and I'm only at level nine but I it because I've I don't know you're, you're so encouraging in how you frame it just in terms of listening to your body and you know it's 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 all in a positive direction as opposed to oh I'm feeling behind like I'm not at all feeling behind right. or like I ought to be or and this is definitely the most emotional point of this interview is when she shares that the confidence she had in her body at three months postpartum was over and beyond her expectations And this is probably my best review for you. <laughs> I never pictured myself as being this confident postpartum um, in my own body like that. That has made a world of difference. Oh, you Thank me. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the number of times I have said to Aaron, like, oh, I am so glad I called Sophie. <laughs> When we went to Whitehorse that one time, I am so glad I called you. I just, oh, you have no idea. Oh, <laughs> when I was, Amber. When I, you first, you asked about me about joining this program and I was, and, and you said, oh, well, I'll call you in a little while to see if you're a good fit for the program. And I was thinking, what do I need to say? What do I need to say? I felt like I had to pass a test. And I, I was trying to feed all the right answers to the teacher to pass the test to get into your course. <laughs> <laughs> that was how it felt and it's I, I've just been so relieved ever since then oh <laughs> this is so. the best review ever <laughs> oh my well, god I'm probably one of your most thankful students so oh and you. <laughs> yeah you can edit out the crying <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you and the efforts that you've put into the program and That's true. Like you made it happen. You decided that this, the first time around was not going to be your story again. And you like just kind of went for it. And it's, it's so inspiring. It was so heartwarming to hear how Amber felt so cared for through this second maternity journey compared to during her first one. And Truly, this is the best feedback I can receive because I've made it my mission that every one of my clients in my program would feel that support and never feel alone through this journey. I've been very blessed because I like this this whole this whole pregnancy and during labor and postpartum. I I felt so cared for, which was a very different experience for me than um, anything during my first first round and. This, this course and finding all the support for all the pregnancy symptoms and the just the way of understanding labor and what to do during labor very practical stuff and uh, and such a such a well-built course for postpartum recovery I don't know it's like pavement on on the road <laughs> instead of a gravel road it just you get you could still make it down the road but this has just smoothed it right out and Aww. yeah As part of my program, I offer live coaching sessions every week so my clients can get individualized guidance along the way. And I was so pleased to hear that Amber found these sessions actually quite helpful in navigating her pregnancy and postpartum journey. Yeah, the coaching calls have made, um, have made a big difference to me because that I, feel, I feel like I've got, I've got that extra, not just to be like, oh, there's all this book learning, but then... I don't know, am I doing this right? Even just to double check, it's it's been um, such a confidence boost. And, and, and hearing other questions that other people ask on the calls is actually very informative that, um, oh, they're dealing with this thing. Well, maybe that's what actually, maybe I've actually noticed that in my body and I just didn't really put my finger on it before. I've found that that uh, sort of the group session uh, dynamic has, has been helpful to me that way. When I asked Amber if she would recommend the program to a friend, she answered with no hesitation. Yeah. Um, my last question, the golden one, would you recommend uh, the <laughs> program to a friend? Hands down, already do. <laughs> uh. I do find that most people that I talk with, um, they, it's hard to impart just how important uh, that ounce of prevention is. And that it's 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 many many ounces of prevention for many many pounds of cure. <laughs> um, I think that that is the biggest thing that is hard for me to try and and convey, and convey to people. Yeah, convey is a good word. Uh, 
it's the hardest thing to try and convey to people um, that yes, you really, really do want this. And it's not just getting some pointers. It's not just getting some tips. It's like, it, it's a, it's a cohesive system for helping you stay healthy. And, but I mean, in my mind, it's, it's very much worth it. It's just that like over the long term, for sure, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> it was super interesting to hear Amber comparing the value and results she got from my program with her second baby versus strictly doing private physiotherapy sessions with her first baby. Basically what I say is I spent about the same amount on your course as I did on the pelvic physios that I went to see after like before and after my first daughter was born. In-person appointments are just structured very differently and um, and although it's it, they have their merits, there was only so much that I could absorb each time. And so I find that the amount for the amount spent, like I get way more knowledge from your course. <laughs> like it's you can't even compare. Uh, than what I got in person. And I know that there is definite benefits to in-person visits. Um, there's obviously things that you are trained to do that I cannot do. <laughs> but there is just just having all of that knowledge as a, as a, as a basis, I think is well worth it, whether I was living in a city or not. Right. I'm just so happy that I have it, especially since I'm not in a city where I have with access to pelvic physios. Yeah. But the fact that you can go back to the lessons and rewatch, and even yes. if you had a third, I don't know that if that's in the plan, <laughs> but if you did, it's still lifetime access. So you'll yeah. be able to review all of this and get that mm. same transformation all over. Um, so thanks so much for sharing your experience, Amber. It was lovely to chat with you today. Uh, and thanks for everyone for watching. So if you're newly pregnant and you feel inspired by Amber's story, I would invite you to sign up for my free masterclass in the description below so you can see what my program is all about and if we might be a fit to work together. I'll see you there. <laughs>